Hey everybody, this is Ray from the Internet Glass Network. Um, I'm about to, uh, a lot of questions on the internet. What is the difference between wood stove glass and tempered? Well, tempered glass is heat treated uh, through a quenching situation in which uh, it hardens the glass. Most tempered, as you would know, it would be something that you see in door glasses. Uh, I'm sure many people have had their car broken into, and when the glass breaks, it breaks in a million pieces. The reason for that is a safety factor. They kind of call it safety glass, but, well, it is 11 times stronger than regular plate. This is why sometimes when you hit it the first time, or the second time with your fist, it doesn't break. However, the shock sometimes will break tempered glass, and when it does, it breaks into uncuttable little shards. Well, actually, not shards, but little pieces. Um, in a fireplace wood stove situation and wood stove insert situation, uh, you should not be using tempered glass. There are two reasons. Tempered glass only handles up to about 550 degrees. Tempered glass is used sometimes in ovens, microwaves, um, and other applications for heat absorption. Um, you cannot use tempered glass for a fireplace insert and or a wood stove. The atmospheric temperature in wood stoves reach when you fill it with, with, uh, with a lot of wood to heat up the house or to heat a room. Usually the atmospheric temperature inside that chamber uh, reaches to approximately 1,000 to 1,100 degrees. Thus, the fact of putting in a piece of tempered, which can only handle up to 500, um, is going to fail. And But I mean by failure is basically breaking in a million pieces, just like a door glass will. Corning, back in 1940s and such, came out with the first Pyrex product, which was made for cooking in your oven, putting food in it, and being able to handle a temperature. If I was to use regular plate glass, it would crack. Um, then we went into fireplace bifold doors. A fireplace bifold door is basically what a lot of people have in their homes when they put wood in the fireplace. Uh, they want to shut it so that this way you have the optical illusion of, of a fire. And then uh, you can open and close it to add more wood, close it, open and close it. The atmospheric temperature, due to the air exposure that it is not sealed tightly, will never reach over... Uh, 450 to 500 degrees. This is why those little bifold doors can be made and tempered. It also can handle shock. Shock would mean that if you put in four or five logs in your fireplace and they roll and they hit the tempered glass, they are more apt not to break because of the uh, situation that it is 11 times stronger. However, in a wood stove situation, you are in need of a piece of what they call wood stove glass. And in the trade that we sell is a product called Pyro Saran. Now, Pyro Saran was uh, created by Corning in the 40s and 50s, uh, also for wood stove usage. Um, now, if you look at this piece of glass, you're going to notice, I don't know if you really do, but if I go sideways with it, I don't really know if you notice this, but if I put a piece of paper behind it, you will then notice that it is a slight brownish, what they call amber color. Now, the reason it's amber rather than optically clear is the reason for its high temperature capabilities. Pyro Saran 3 was created about 15 years ago by Corning to handle up to 1,450 degrees. That's pretty darn hot that it can handle. Now, the incredible part is boron is a metal. So thus, the glass that you see here isn't really glass. 
It's more of a ceramic because in ceramic there is metal. Um, and I'm going to show you a really cool thing to show how strong and durable uh, wood stove glass is. The one, um, but I want to I want to show you a little test that's going to kind of make you very surprised of how durable and how the heat treatable situation is. I'm going to take this pyrosaran <clears throat> and I am going to torch the heck out of it. Now, let's try to figure out 1100 degrees. I could blow this thing for a good 5 to 10 minutes before I get to that point. One of the uh, key ingredients of pyrosaran is it's non-expandable and contraction it will not expand and contract because it's made of a metal um, embedded in a silicate. So as I torch this to prove its durability when it comes to heat and the heat exchange, and the heat exchange what I mean is the heating and the cooling, which is the problem with tempered glass. If tempered glass is heated too quickly and cooled too quickly, it has also been known to shatter which has been one of the reasons why uh, bifold doors on fireplaces do break. A lot of times a log will come and roll on a piece of tempered, on a bifold door. When that happens, you wake up in the morning or while you're sitting in front of the TV and while you're enjoying the fire, that the glass actually will break in a million pieces and you wonder why. It's basically because the flame from the log has basically been <clears throat> torching the, uh, the tempered glass. So what I'm showing you now is I'm heating this glass up using a normal torch. And I'm going to get this thing, and I'm kind of making it pretty hot. You're not going to see it smoke. You're not going to see uh, it melting or it breaking. As you notice, if I was to take this to a piece of regular glass, right now it would crack. If I was to take this to a piece of temper after about maybe two or three minutes, it literally will explode, in which I will try to demonstrate to you later. But what I want to show you something really cool about this is I'm getting this thing really hot. The one thing about Pyro Saran also is heat transfer. When you use Pyro Saran versus tempered, it's like heating up metal just like the cast iron on your wood stove. So it does kind of heat up and disperse heat a lot better than uh, tempered wood. So it's almost like an extra piece of uh, metal on your wood stove heating your house. Now, if, I don't know if you can notice this, and I'm going to move it down a little bit, and I don't think you do, but I see a very big red, 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 red spot now growing in the middle of this piece of temp of uh, Pyrosaran. To show its durability and strength and its ability not to expand and contract, would you think if I poured water on this right now, what would you think would happen? Would it break? Would it shatter? Well, let's go find out. In front of me, I, I have a basic spray can of glass cleaner, which is a little uh, easier to use right now versus water, because then I can make a mess. But, I'm, but it is getting pretty red hot on this. I don't know if you can see it. And now what I'm going to basically do is take this glass and spray some water on it. In which you noticed how it's now the water is uh, at the bottom, but it pretty much instantly evaporated as it hit the glass. 
it shows the durability and the strength of wood stove glass. And the reason it did not break is because of its non-expansion and contraction capabilities, which makes it what they call heat treated and also heat resistant. Pyro Saran can handle up to 1,415 degrees before there is what they call thermo breakdown. Um, tempered glass can handle up to about 550 degrees. Now recently, uh, overseas, I will just put it that way. I'm not going to name anything. I'm not going to name any country. But overseas, they have come out with a product called borosilicate. Borosilicate is a low-grade pyros is a low-grade pyrex um, that has a slight amount of boron in it, but it is optically clear. It is not amber in color. I do not have any bor I do not have any borosilicate on me. But what I have uh, noticed from many customers calling me, wondering why. When they bought a uh, fireplace insert and or wood stove from retail chains, and I'm not going to name them either, that after two burns, the uh, glass is broken. Um, they would then call the chain saying, hey, my glass broke. Well, they didn't realize that the atmospheric temperature inside these units that are not of what they call high grade, high quality. Okay, these are units sold in retail stores. Uh, I'm not going to name the stores again, but uh, people go into them often. Uh, these units go from anywhere between eight to a thousand dollars, non-installed, um, that have borosilicate in it. Now, thickness has nothing to do with strength or durability. Um, that piece of glass that I had in front of you was five millimeters which is a little about three sixteenths of an inch thick if it was an eighth of an inch thick it wouldn't have mattered thickness does not um, does not have anything to do with uh, with heat absorption and heat treatment or heat resistance um, as I shown you there I was able to pour water or spray water on that piece of glass and it didn't break at all because of its heat resistant capabilities and it is due to the boron which is a metal that's uh, embedded in the in the uh, in the glass while it's uh, rolled borosilicate um, is boron free it uses some other chemical compound that uh, does make it heat treated but however um, it only handles up to 800 degrees um, the reason borosilicate originally was manufactured was uh, to replace um, tempered glass in some respects. Borosilicate was starting to be used on ovens that went over certain temperatures, especially when you have to turn that thing on and it says, you know, let's clean the oven. Well, that oven can get up to 700 degrees when they have a self-cleaning oven. That is why they used a borosilicate versus a tempered glass, because then the glass would not shatter in a million pieces. Although some of the older ovens um, will explode because they are made of a tempered glass. Um, so the reason that borosilicate was put into these wood stoves is because of cost. The cost of bore of uh, pyrosoran is, uh, is rather expensive. Um, it is not, it has gone down in price being the fact that they have finally moved it back to the United States. Um, we at Internet Glass Network sell nothing but Pyro Saran 3 that is made here in the U.S. of A. Um, not overseas with the other trade names. Uh, being that Corning is the only one that can use the name Pyro Saran. Um, and there were three grades, Pyro Saran 1, 2, and 3. We sell Pyro Saran 3, which is of the highest temperature, which handles up to 1,450 degrees, which it far exceeds any atmospheric temperature that's inside of a wood stove. So I just pretty much showed you right there what the difference is between tempered. Um, I did not bring out a piece of tempered to 
blast it with this because I really didn't feel like having a piece of tempered blow up in my face um, unless I wore a spacesuit. But believe you me, I'm sure you've experienced it in, in the past where tempered glass has exploded and, um, and you know what it is. It, it's a mess and everything else. So if you'd like to order, it's uh, www.internetglassnetwork.com and we have that at the bottom of the screen here if you want to price out uh, the wood stove glass and you'll find me very competitive um, in the market being that we are a distributor in the United States um, so thank you very much for watching and you know a little bit about now about what wood stove glass is what the difference is and hopefully um, you have a better understanding uh, please feel free to email me um, it's a simple address at uh, info at Internet Glass Network. I'm here to help you and answer any questions that you may have. Well, thank you very much for watching my other video um, on um, any of my glass products of uh, Internet Glass Network. And I thank you and have a great day. And I hope that this winter that has uh, been a little strange for all of us, uh, being last year on the East Coast, been, right now it would be minus 5. And I feel bad for the people out West, but at least you're getting rain. Um, but listen, have a great day and um, have a great year. And uh, if you ever need the product of the wood stove glass, please go to the bottom link where I will send you to my wood stove page, which uh, pretty much explains more and more about what the difference is before it's between tempered and wood stove glass. All right, so...